morning from Tiny Foot Acres. Another beautiful summer day. We had a little bit of rain this morning. I wasn't expecting it, but very thankful for it. I have yet to have to water my garden and I know that there's other places that are having drought. Super thankful for everything that we have here. My potatoes are going crazy. Get off there, Thorn. Thorn, get off, off. It's our only predator on our... <laughs> we need to get that. He's such a good boy. Good boy. Beautiful garden. I just can't believe the blessings that God has given us here. When others are dealing with drought or too much rain, He's giving us just enough. So Rod and I both saw this post. Looks like something got in and then got itself out. I don't see any of the other posts bent in, but uh, you can see it right there in the middle. Something's getting into the fence, but uh, into the netting area. But all seems to be well. That was a few days ago that we noticed that out here with the pup this morning. He's a little rambunctious. He needs to get some exercise. He's going to be in the crate this morning. So, just getting outside, getting some air. What do you got there, buddy? Hey, Thorn. What you doing, bud? You a good boy? Garden's doing good. Got another zucchini coming. The lettuce is going crazy over there. These zucchinis don't seem to be doing so. They're flowering, but not really getting anything off of them. My tomatoes are taking a little while though. I still have to hill my potatoes, but they're doing tremendous. <laughs> and the squash is doing amazing too. Hey buddy? No, no, get up. Thorn, get off. Thorn, get off. Good boy. Come on, bud. Good morning. From Tiny Foot Acres. <laughs> so we have some sad news this morning. One of our chickens disappeared. We have a feeling a bird of prey got our chickens there. I haven't had a chance to look and see yet. It was one of our black ones, our original black ones. I haven't been able to check and see which one it is. We just noticed yesterday, so. Bit of a sad morning for us. I guess with additions, with the new puppy, we also still have losses on a homestead. Hey, Ru. I've noticed that they're a little bit more somber, which is different for me. He, uh, he normally crows when I'm around, and yesterday he didn't crow when I was there. But yesterday and this morning so far, he actually is very quiet around us. 
which is very different for him he normally crows when we're around and not the opposite now he's crowing in the yard constantly It's okay, buddy. You protected the rest of them. His neck is getting worse and worse, so when we call the meat birds, I have a feeling we'll end up calling him and let Thorn take his place with the chickens. You'll notice the other five chickens, the original five chickens haven't come out yet. It's a bit of a different morning for them. What's going on? I think we have some sort of monster. Oh. Something is pulling it out. Or someone. Poor puppy. So lonesome. So this is what the roads are, the back roads are like up here. <laughs>
This is Ennis Lake. Let's go this way, bud. So Florin usually follows us. He's <laughs> down in our little valley here. So we live up on a hill. I'd love to be able to uh, build a little cabin down here. It's a lot more private. You're just in a nice little canopy of bush here. So we try to do this perimeter at least once or twice a day to train Thorn. So far, we haven't had to worry too much about having a leash on Thorn unless we go off the property. Are the weeds bugging you, buddy? Charlie and Thorn like to eat grass. This is the only time that Charlie actually lets Thorn anywhere near him is when we're outside. 
when we're inside the house, Charlie wants nothing to do with them. I don't know if it's just too small of a space or what. But what are you doing, bud? <laughs> Charlie! You guys are both hacking on stuff. <laughs> you rubbing your scent on everything? very difficult up here to find a, a groomer and the lady we had um, she is brand new to it so she can only do it she doesn't have established clientele for the most part so she's she works full-time and then she clips grooms after Charlie is a Cocker Spaniel cross with a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, so he needs to be clipped. And it's hot enough up here, and he's struggling with the heat with his long hair, and he won't let me do it, that's for sure. I've tried. I usually just take the scissors to him, but even then I have to do it in increments. Coming, bud? Come on, Thorn. But Charlie, I do need to keep on a lead because he will run off on me. It doesn't matter uh, what it is, if he catches a scent of a rabbit or whatever, he will run and he doesn't listen. So, otherwise, Thorn is very good. He does listen. And he tends to be quite good. <clears throat> now, Charlie was teaching him the other day to go after the chickens, which we don't want him to do. Come on, Thorn. Thorn, come. Thorn. After losing our poor Buffy, we're trying to keep a closer eye on these guys. Somebody suggested we should get a fake owl and hang it up. It's supposed to scare the hawks away, but it could have been an owl that actually took her. We haven't found any remnants of her, so I have a feeling it was something from above that took her. Even though we've had evidence. <laughs> Touch the electric fence. <laughs> Even though we've had evidence that something got into this electric fence, they were in when that happened. They were in the coop when that happened. Because it happened at night when we didn't have it electrified. And we've had it electrified ever since. It's just another lesson reminding us that life's too short. And I hope that we gave her a good rest of her life and it is the circle of life. So hopefully something is able to continue to live because they had a good chicken dinner. Anyways, not to be somber, but she was one of our first original chickens and we named them all. The brown ones, we don't really have any names for them and we don't know their full character because they all came at once and it's harder when it comes to that kind of situation. But when they were so much different and there was only six of them, it was easier to tell them apart and definitely to see their character. Anyways, just a reminder again, life's too short. You gotta take any adventure that you can. <laughs>